Life does a person become beloved or a favorite son of an institution. That happens when an individual demonstrates over and over and over the deepest reservoir of love and care for a place and its people through his actions, through his words, and his thoughts. And it is with all this in mind that I'm once again privileged to welcome our beloved friend Jack Bogle back to Blair Academy. Many of you know Mr. Bogle, his history and his many accomplishments, but for those meeting him for the first time today, I share with you that Mr. Bogle is first and foremost one of you. He is a Blair guy, class of 1947. He went on to graduate from Princeton in 1951 with a bachelor's in economics. Magna cum laude. He's the founder of the mutual fund giant Vanguard. He has been the, uh, the Blair, a Blair trustee since 1972 and served as our chair of the board from 1986 to 2001. He serves as a char chairman emeritus now for us. He was the first recipient of Blair's highest honor, the Citation of Merit. And he and his wonderful wife Eve, who I hope you have an opportunity to meet at some point, um, reside in Bryn Mawr, Pennsylvania, where they raised six children, have many grandchildren, and great-grandchildren. Anytime we have Mr. Bogle here to share his thoughts directly with you, it is a great day for Blair Academy. His love for and generosity to Blair are unparalleled. And so let us rise to thank and welcome Mr. Jack Bogle to our stage. Thank you. 
Good morning, fellow members of the Blair family. What a delight it is to be with you this morning. It's always wonderful to be back here. In some ways, my home, and despite the cloudy weather out there, the campus is more beautiful than ever. And uh, it happens to be approximately 100% larger than it was when I studied here back in 1945-1947 with my twin brother David, who, bless his soul, died a year before I received my heart transplant on February 21, 1996. Yes, the donor was but 26 years old, so 22 years later, I'm only 46. <laughs> And that is not a cane, it's a walking stick, just for the record. <laughs> so, uh, I'm here today to talk to you. It's a wonderful opportunity to let you know the love for Blair is pretty close to eternal, and uh, maybe even eternal. And uh, to meet with 10 holders of the Vogel Brothers scholarships at noontime today to have lunch with them, and uh, to have a chance to get a little more feeling of how my old school was doing. And I was really impressed. They each write me letters. So I have 10 letters from them. And I'm impressed with their vibrant values and with your vibrant values, all of you here today. And uh, their great potential and your great potential, all of you here today. And let us not forget their love for Blair that comes out of this, these letters. But it's also your love for Blair Academy. I love Blair too. And I'm proud and privileged to have played a role in its wonderful renaissance, begun in 1989 with a new headmaster named Chandler Hardwick and his wife Lomi. We're still good friends and in touch. Succeeded by Aaron and uh, Chris Fortunato and board chairman Doug Kimmelman. We're doing a fantastic job. Blair changed my life in too many ways to recount this morning. But I want to just give you one of those examples. It was Blair, at Blair Academy that I learned how to use the English language and how to write. And I could tell you countless examples of how poor Henry Adams, no, not the Henry Adams, but he was my junior <laughs> teacher and uh, my senior English teacher, Marvin Garfield Mason, they spent so much time on me, mostly with a red pen. I couldn't even believe when I got some of those old papers back, because they were terrible. They got better and better under their tutelage. And the result is that my writing ability, among other things, enabled me to go to Princeton, which enabled me to start Vanguard, and watch it grow from a fragile little almost nothing, and in danger of failing at the beginning, to a colossus. And I should say, as I say down there, uh, I was never much interested in building a Colossus, but I was too damn stupid to realize that if we gave investors the best deal they ever had gotten in life in, in investing, and the best deal they ever would get, I would be building a Colossus. All that crap. Five trillion dollars, I don't know. Anyway, uh, I've, I've not only had a busy career, but I've had a busy career in business, but a busy career as a writer. And I'm just polishing off my 12th book. That's a lot to be doing. And I'm gonna close my remarks by telling you the title of the book. And the title of the book comes from a little couple I read some time ago. The trees I planted still are young, the songs I sang will still be sung. And that little couplet is part of the title of my book, or gave me the title of my book, which is, the songs I sang will still be sung because we have changed at Vanguard the way business is done in America, the investment in America. But, uh, we have, by the way, we have to, get, uh, have to get permission of the author of those lines. Johnny Cash, <laughs> and since he's not around anymore, we'll have to ask his publisher, but I hope that will be the way it is. I also hope, that in addition to that title applying to the business that I created, a better business, I think, that, that title will also apply to Blair Academy, songs I've sung here over all these years, 
will still be signed by you wonderful people of such promise and ability. Thank you very much.